Welcome to this men's fragrance channel. Today I've covered 15 most complimented men's colognes according to TikTok. So according to TikTok comments, TikTok perfume creators and just normal creators on TikTok. And I'm going to go from least popular but still very compliment getting fragrances to the top top two ones that really get just mentioned all the time. Three, two, one, let's do this. By the way, I also do have a TikTok account, so I'll put it here. Number 15 on this list, it was mentioned, but not quite as much as the others, is Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Oil Intense for Men Prom. This is a very fresh, really summery fragrance, lasts a great amount of time. It is kind of salty, very, very summer sort of a fragrance, easy, and I get why it get compliments, because it's just sexy. Number 14 was Tom Ford Beau Du Jour and this fragrance I was surprised that it was here but I'm glad that it is. It's such a just traditional fragrance for men. It's kind of green, it's aromatic, it's very classy so if you love a classy fragrance and you want to get compliments this one oh it's so good. Number 13 very surprisingly for myself is Aventus, Creed's Aventus, because usually I thought it would be higher on the list, but no, it's still a very compliment getting uh, fragrance, it's fresh, got pineapple at the top, it's woody, it's such a good fragrance, to me this is just addictive, but I get that this DNA has been a bit overdone. Number 12 on this list is Coach for Men, and this fragrance, it's such a good just design a men's cologne. It's basic but in a great way. This is a staple sort of a fragrance that 100% of you men would like. This one you can't hate. It's got lavender in there, a bit of coriander, but lavender is very prominent in this fragrance. It's very masculine and I get why it get compliments. Number 10, I'm very excited about this one. Yes, this is still such a gem. One million Pacoraban. This cinnamon, vanilla, leather. I mean, ah, this is magical. It's so sexy, long lasting performance, price, everything here is compliment worthy. And I just adore it. Number nine, we're getting closer to number one and two, is Ombre Leather Le Parfum. And I've done a comparison between the original and the Parfum version of Ombre Leather, so I'll put it here. This fragrance, it's super masculine, dry, smells kind of like a leather jacket, a bit of fruit in there. It's very, very sexy. And this one, Oh, it's 10 out of 10 sort of a fragrance. And this one, I really get why people get compliments for it. And I do recommend it to you guys wholeheartedly. It's so, so good and unique on a designer um, market of fragrances. Next one, we've got Dolce & Gabbana, the one eau de parfum. This one was really mentioned quite a lot. And you guys know what I would say, don't go for this one, although it's like you do what you want to do, it's on this list. But I recently smelt it again and I don't know what they've done with the fragrance, but it doesn't smell good anymore. It smells kind of cheap. So if you've got an old bottle, okay, go for it. But they've done something. It's just not nice. It smells kind of fishy. Next, we've got Azaro, the most wanted. I personally love Wanted by Night, but I also enjoy um, Most Wanted. This fragrance is deep, it's mysterious, it gives you a very sexy, alluring sort of a smell. So this one for dates or just for like every day during colder season, that one, yes, I totally get why it would get you so many compliments, it's so good. Next, we've got CH Men Privé. This one smells like a bad boy to me. It's boozy, it's a bit chocolatey even to me. It's very, very, I would say it's a naughty sort of a fragrance. So I get why this is towards the number one and two of most complimented fragrances. It's been around for a while, but it's so, so good. Next up, we've got Ultra Male from, of course, Jean Paul Gaultier. And this one is the most compliment getting fragrance. 
I get why, because it's so sweet and so powerful. It gets huge sillage of fragrance when you wear it, so a huge scent throw. And this kind of smells like sweets. <laughs> so I would say this is best for clubbing and people also recommended it like in that sort of a setting. They always said they get compliments in a bar or night out. So I would say compliments for sure, but in like a, you know, more people sort of a situation. A great one. Next, we're getting hotter and hotter. Spice Bomb Extreme from Victor and Rolf. Some people also said the original. I would say the Extreme is just that bit more. It's got oomph. It's got spice in there. Spice Bomb, obviously. Cinnamon. It's got tobacco. It's so syrupy and just oh, sexy. This one for sure. But do overspray it for compliments because otherwise, it kind of dies down. So overspray that one and he'll for sure get compliments. It's such a great fragrance. Okay, number four on this list, we're getting the OG, the fragrance that I get the most hate for recommending perhaps on this channel. It is Dior Sauvage Eau de Toilette. This fragrance is just good, okay? You can hate it, but it is amazing. It's no brainer. Every woman and man will like the scent of it. It's projecting, it's long lasting. The DNA is just so, so good. That woodsiness, that freshness. This fragrance gets compliments still, but this one, be careful with sprays because we did a couple of tests and many women said that it does sound a bit cheap when men overspray this one. So don't overspray it and you'll for sure get compliments because it's just such a gem. Number three is a Dior fragrance. It's a very unusual designer fragrance. Dior Homme Intense. This fragrance. <laughs> My husband, he is screaming behind the camera because you can tell that he loves this. This is a syrupy iris fragrance for men. This smells like a million bucks for sure. And it's so unusual. Like you have to go and try it. I get why it gets so many compliments because it's unusual. People are intrigued by it and it's got such huge sillage. Mm, it's amazing. Number two, we're getting hot in here. I think <laughs> nearly every single one of videos that I've seen recommended this fragrance and people get compliments for it on TikTok and they recommend it to people. It is Bleu de Chanel. I mean, are we surprised? This is a great fragrance. It is better than Dior Sauvage in my opinion. It's more classy smelling. Dior Sauvage is kind of a bit more <clears throat> bad boy. This is like a rounded bad boy <laughs> sort of a fragrance, but could be worn to work, could be worn to a bar, could be worn everywhere. It's so addictive. Yeah, if you want compliments, just get Bleu de Chanel. I would say Eau de Toilette is a nice one. Eau de Parfum is my favorite, but most people recommend it Eau de Toilette on TikTok. And number one on this list, number one most, most recommended and most compliment getting fragrance on TikTok is, can you guys guess? Try and guess down in the comments just for a second here, okay? Try and guess and don't you cheat. Okay, number one is Versace Eros. And it is just the most compliment getting fragrance. It is sweet, it's minty, it's got green apple in here, super strong, especially for night out situations, bars, crowded places. This is so good. And I do admit it smells better as a woman. Like when I smell it on my husband on his skin, it smells so much better than just straight up from a bottle or I've worn it because I wear fragrances to test them. It just smells, it just does something on men. It smells so, so good. People recommend the original. I like the Auto Parfum as well. They're very similar. So get whichever one you want and enjoy it because you'll for sure get compliments. Subscribe to this channel, give me a thumbs up if you want more videos like this and follow me on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> follow me on TikTok and Instagram. I'll link them down below. I'll also link all of these fragrances for you and good deals so you can save some money down below for you guys. And I'll see you very, very soon in the next one. Bye guys.